Welcome to SharedWorks Quick Clip on completing a participant removal form. This series of videos has been made so we can quickly give you updates or refresh your memory on how to complete a form. The participant removal form is for the employer to complete. Employment Security uses this form to change the status of your employees in the Unemployment Benefit System based upon your request. It is almost exclusively used when a participant in the shared work program from your company permanently separates from your company, such as being laid off, fired, or they quit. Let's take a look at what we're talking about. Again, this form is required when a participant permanently separates from your company or when your employer requests removal. When a participant is removed from your plan, your shared work plan is updated to reflect the change. We will not know this information until you tell us. Be sure to fill out this section including your company name, your ESD number, and the date you are completing the form. Make sure the participant's name on this form matches the way that you entered it when they joined the program. Enter their social security number for verification. Next, we need to know the reason why they are no longer a participant in the shared work program. Use the following abbreviations when noting the reason. Enter Q if they quit, F if they were fired, LO if they were laid off, R if the participant retired and will not return, ER if the employer is requesting their removal for other reasons, PR if the participant is requesting to be removed from the program. Again, that's Q for quit, F for fired, LO for laid off, R for retired, ER for employer requested, or PR if the participant requested removal from the program. To help clarify what ER and PR mean, they should be used when either the employer or participant requests voluntarily that they be removed from the plan. Submit the status change with a note that the employee is still working, just no longer part of the plan. For the reason of separation, these are the only options that we can accept. If you cannot determine the answer on your own, contact the Shared Work Unit at Employment Security. Remember, it is important for us to know the actual reason for the separation, along with the date they were separated. Now that the form is complete, fax it to the number in the upper right-hand corner. And that's it. That's the Shared Work Participant Removal Form. For additional quick clips on Shared Work topics, visit our Shared Work website at www.esd.wa.gov forward slash shared dash work.